COVID-19 pandemic has had countless effects on the court system in Colorado, perhaps one of its most dramatic, delaying the long-awaited murder trial of Dante Lucas in Pueblo. He's the man accused of murdering 21-year-old Kelsey Schelling, who was two months pregnant at the time of her disappearance in 2013. After a two-week break following a positive COVID test in the courtroom, everything starts back up again tomorrow afternoon. And our Colette Bordelon will be there. She has this recap on what's happened so far. In opening statements, prosecutors called Dante Lucas a skilled puppet master, claiming he had control over Kelsey Schelling during their rocky relationship. They allege he lured her down to Pueblo over the course of two days and killed her, either late on February 4th or early in the morning on the 5th in 2013. However, the defense says there's a lack of physical evidence in this case, and they call it the biggest reach in Pueblo's history. It'll show you everything that we're looking for. After eight years of endless questions, Kelsey Schelling's case has made it to trial. It's going to be impossible for the jurors not to have emotions about this kind of a case. In the first week, Schelling's family and friends testified for the prosecution, saying Schelling was outgoing and excited to become a mom, and it's not in her personality to just disappear. Text messages from Schelling's phone to Lucas's on February 4th are read, saying things like, I'm tired of doing whatever you say. Forget I'm pregnant, seriously. And then on the 5th, one that says she miscarried. The next day, Schelling's supervisor got texts from her phone saying she's not having a baby because it was growing in the wrong place. Her OBGYN from her first and only prenatal appointment on February 4th also testified and said Schelling had a healthy pregnancy at the time with no risk of a miscarriage. Her father, Doug Schelling, remembered the last time he heard from his daughter through a text on the 6th after she didn't return his calls. He says that message just wasn't right and looking back, doesn't believe it was from his daughter. The defense has said text messages do not make a homicide case. There's no murder weapon. There's no crime scene. It seems largely based on circumstantial evidence. What is the difference between circumstantial evidence and physical evidence? There is, uh, in the law, there's not going to be any difference. More cell phone evidence showed both Lucas and Schelling's phones interacted a lot from February 4th to the 7th, overlapping in the same areas for much of it, but never leaving Pueblo. Schelling's phone goes silent on the 7th. Then the courtroom heard three versions of the timeline Lucas told different law enforcement agencies in the days following her disappearance. He says he and Schelling went to Parkview on the morning of the 5th, telling one detective they both went inside, but telling the other two Schelling went inside alone. Parkview has no record of a visit. The trial is set to start back up on Wednesday afternoon. I'll be there and we'll have all your updates on Twitter throughout the day and on News 5. There's a lot more detail also already published on that first week of the trial available for you on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Colette Bordeaux on News 5.